What is up everyone? This is Shane. Welcome back to my last video in the beginner series. Now, this isn't the end of my videos, but this is the last of my beginner videos because after this one, I will have said that you have graduated to the next level. So congratulations on making it this far. The last thing I want to show you in the beginning series is how to create a chart. Many of you uh, in your wonderful comments uh, have asked for this video, so I want to give it to you. And with the newest version of Excel, charting is absolutely phenomenal. It's gotten so much easier than it used to be, especially if you just stick to the basic charts. So again, wh what we're going to do is I'm going to start with my raw data table that we used from our last video and the last, last couple of videos, actually. And anywhere inside here is my cell pointer. As long as I'm inside the table, I can come up to the insert menu. And this is a fairly new option right here under, it's called recommended charts. And this is a fairly new uh, feature in the later versions of Excel. I'm not sure if it was here uh, in, the 20, in the 2012 version, but I know it's currently now available in the Office 365 version. Uh, which I think is actually Excel 15, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure about that. But uh, regardless, it's a really cool feature. And as long as my cell pointer is in, anywhere inside my table, I can click this Recommended Charts option, and it brings up this new box. And this is really cool because it gives me a quick layout of my actual data. It's showing me that I currently have sales in January, February, and March. And, but notice, this is a very basic, and as I go down, it gets a little bit more detailed. And again, these actual charts are using the data from my table. Once I find one I, I like, and this is the one that looks pretty good to me, I'm going to select OK. And just like that, Excel creates a new sheet. It's calling this Sheet 5. Let's double-click this and rename it to uh, uh, Chart. And now we can see not only um, a numerical representation of our data, uh, but obviously we got this nice, pretty new chart. And let's let's make it a little bigger here. I'm just going to select the chart. Notice it floats. It's an independent box that sits on top of your spreadsheet, and you can move it around wherever you want to. You can also make it bigger by grabbing one of the corner handles and dragging it out. Uh oh, went too far. Uh, let's go back to the top of our page here. So there we go. I want to get this maximized. Oh, there we go. That's much better. So now we see our wonderful data in a graphical format. We can see Bam Bam. We can see Barney, Betty, Fred, Pebbles, Wilma. Everybody is here. And notice that we have some interesting drop-down boxes. <gasps> Look at there. Just like we can filter our pivot tables or we can filter our, uh, our tables our raw data tables, we actually have the ability now to do the same thing in the chart. So if I just wanted to see perhaps the Rubble family, let's see how Bam Bam, Barney, and Betty are doing. Um, we can isolate just those three, and our chart immediately updates. That is really cool. Let's go back, and let's select all. And we're not just stuck to this format. If I come up here to my toolbar, Notice this light green section says Pivot Chart Tools. Uh, we're currently on the Analyze tab, but we can go to the Design tab and we can change the look and feel of this report. So by clicking on this little drop down here, I can see the many different options of my data being displayed slightly different. And I kind of, I really like the dark backgrounds. Uh, this one really popped out at me. I love this style here. So, man, how cool is that? This is, like I said, these are fairly new styles in, in Excel and the newer versions of Excel. But doesn't that look sweet, our data there? That is awesome. But, um, again, uh, this data can be changed. Um, notice that when I'm on in this sheet, we also have pivot chart fields. Notice the name pivot chart. Uh, this is our pivot table on this sheet, but now on our chart, Excel has a thing called pivot charts, and it works very similar uh, to the pivot table. All you do is select anywhere inside your actual data table, 
and click the recommended chart and it produces this and you have the same flexibility here as you had on the pivot tables before so that is why I saved charts for the last tutorial because it really comes into play and is really powerful uh, when you use the pivot chart uh, versus just a regular chart so that is the power of that and with that guys I'm going to wrap it up for the beginning session uh, congratulations on making it this far I appreciate everyone's comments and things have gone very well uh, I'm hoping to do a no series uh, for more advanced topics uh, including uh, an introduction to visual basic for applications now that is the programming language that is available inside Excel that many people probably don't know about but it's really really powerful um, and we'll I think I'm going to jump into that in a new series uh, here on uh, learning by videos so everyone thank you for your support and your wonderful comments I love the feedback and if there's some type of advanced topic you'd like to see uh, in the next series of videos please let me know and I'll try to work them into my next batch all right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next series. Take care. Bye-bye.